Hello, beautiful people of the internet, and welcome back to Shared Screens. Today, we have a very special episode of Media Club for you, and that's because today, we're recording our spoiler cast for The Batman. All right, so if you haven't seen this movie, I think I can, I think I speak for all of us here when I say go out and see it. Mm -hmm. Please just go enjoy this film. It's absolutely fantastic. We should experience this on the biggest, loudest screen possible. Don't wait the 45 days for HBO Max. Just go. Just just go. Your local Agreed. cinemas, go watch IMAX it. IMAX if possible, because that was an experience. I'm a- absolutely. IMAX if possible. If you can't, there'll be a- a- anything. Anything. Please. Please. And then come back, watch this video. But right now, we're about to Bring get into snacks, it. Full- though, it's a three-hour movie. Yeah, it's yes. a long film. <laughs> Go pee beforehand. My friend, my friend made that mistake, and he was cross his, crossing his legs the like <laughs> half of the movie. Very long, I, dude. Very long. You could Loaded. enforce rules. Hold on, you could you could enforce rules, which I have done. If the movie is longer than an hour and a half, you don't get a soda. You don't get a drink. You just don't do it. You don't do that to yourself. If, that if salty it's an hour and a half. Nothing. I was just gonna say you need yeah. something for the popcorn though. Yeah, You're gonna have to pee. The, Here's what you do. I didn't. Popcorn. You get loaded fries, and then you get a buffalo chicken pizza, and you're just like engorged. Uh, sure. I and just yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> but go out, watch that movie, come back. Yep. Uh, I'm of course your host, some of the Josh for this episode uh, today. We've already like- all been talking, but I'm joined by Austin, Alec, and Hello. Brett. How are you guys doing today? Great. Doing great. Uh, I'm a DC today. hater, but I'm ready. I know, but he's I know. ready. Number one DC yeah. hater. I'm. I've. I've come here, just with with the planes of just fighting, uh, and defending this movie. Um, but before before we get into general discussions, though, I just want to. I just want round table circle this, um, with just general thoughts. Austin, take it away. What are your general thoughts on the movie? Um, you know, what was your theater experience? Just give it to me. Okay, I think we've established in other videos that the theater I go to, not the best theater. So any Mm -hmm. qualms I have with the theater experience is not on this movie. I didn't really experience too much, too many qualms with this one. It's a dark film, and my theater I go to is already extremely dark. So I did have that qualm, but like that's the only real thing I can think of. Um, As per my my thoughts on the the film as a whole, it's really long. I, I am one person who really enjoys long films. Like I can just sit down and just live in this film for what live in this world that they created i'm okay with that but i know so many people will not be okay with that this film is essentially three hours long so it is really long for like it's not really an or it's not an origin film but it's an origin for like this kind of franchise for batman i think there's like what a few spinoff shows and two more movies that have been confirmed yeah. something along those lines but yeah so it's far, like yeah. the origin for that um and i think mm-hmm. that's that's a really long film i know you have to you have to establish a lot for like an origin of like mm-hmm. that but I really mm-hmm. like this film. Uh, I really like the detective angle. I really like the dark tones. I think this is more of a Gotham film than a Batman film, in my opinion. And I think that's why I loved it so much. Um, I like the weird take on Bruce Bruce Wayne. I don't think we got enough Bruce Wayne. But I like Pattinson's Bruce Wayne. I think it's well within the realm of Bruce Wayne that we would expect to see and haven't seen a lot of. And I enjoyed that. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time. This is like a solid... I don't want to put a number on it at the beginning, but like... You kind of covered it. Go see this movie. Whether you like it or not, it's worth seeing in theaters. That's my blanket thing. Right. Nice. Nice. Alec? Yeah. I'm right there along with uh, Austin there. Like, I love this movie. Um, I want to give a shout out to Jeffrey Wright because he was the standout character as Gordon for me. He's Mm -hmm. just that his portrayal of Gordon was so awesome. Um, Like, anytime I saw or like, I. Yeah, sorry. Um, anytime that I saw like the you know they had the explosions or the gunfire like lighting up the scene, it was mm-hmm. just so hype. Um, again, my theater experience was awesome seeing it in IMAX. Uh, oh, it was yeah. a nine p.m. showtime, so it was very late on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Work was rough Friday, so uh, there was a, the thing. The one odd thing I thought being a superhero, I know it's kind of the leans more towards the theme of the movie being a bit darker. But there wasn't mm-hmm. people like really like standing up cheering or you know, like clapping cheering during the movie, which was I thought was interesting because I thought there were some moments that were, were was worth it, but right. didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think I, like kind of like how I sorry I just want to but just, yeah. just for a second I think it's because it's not an established or, like franchise quite yet. 
Like Marvel, mm-hmm. we've had all these relationships to build off of, and you're like when you see those triumphs on film happen in front of your eyes, you want to cheer. I don't feel like we've we've established the characters and their development and where they're going to that extent yet. I think mm-hmm. later on right. we could totally see that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that the Riddler was he was, it was an interesting portrayal. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I was, it was interesting. Mm-hmm. So, okay. I, I have yeah. some thoughts on that Same. for a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, Brett, number one DC hater here at Shared Screens. I just always against DC. I'm I'm interested to hear what you thought of it. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, like Austin said, I thought Gotham itself was like the star of the of the movie. Um, with Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne slash Batman, I thought he did a great job as Batman. I do have some like issue, not issues, but like. I don't think we got enough Bruce, like Alex said. And then the kind of Bruce we got was like just one note. Although obviously he did have that evolution at the end. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was a beautiful film. Technically, all the sets and costumes were incredible. Um, yeah, some of the like some of the stuff with the end game of Riddler was like kind of like what's going on here. Um, mm-hmm. And then uh, the. Uh, like the little Easter egg at the end, I was like, I wasn't upset, but I was like, I was like, really? Like we're doing this already. Like, I feel yeah. like, I feel like they can't help themselves with that. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm I, again, you know, I'm a DC hater. I, I love Marvel. I I'm just interested to see where they go from here with this in mm-hmm. terms of expanding the world beyond just what we saw in this movie in terms of, more stuff in Gotham and then obviously like other uh, franchises. And stuff. Cause I, I do think that strengthens um, uh, that move like or that world. If you have more right. interconnectedness, but um, yeah, I, I saw it at what, like eight. Yeah. Cause it was like 11 when I walked out uh, last minute with Corey Cundy and Ooh, right. uh, hey. so- it was, it was really cool. Um, yeah, great food, obviously, as I mentioned before. And um, yeah, I thought Zoe Kravitz, too, was amazing. She oh, was probably yeah. the best the okay. best actor out of uh, the, like, three core characters that we kind of hung, mm-hmm. hung out with. So, yeah, it was fun. Absolutely. I Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think the, whoever uh, did the casting for this movie, oh, like, holy crap. In the runtime, I, I love long movies. And honestly, this didn't feel long to me at all. Like, I, I knew, like, going into it, like, I, when I walked out, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's late. Like, I was like, yeah. But, like, during the movie, I never felt like mm-hmm. it was dragging on t- for me. But, I, again, I like long movies. There was so. one part, right. yeah. I can't remember exactly, like, when it was, but I remember that it was like, oh, this is starting to feel a little long. <laughs> Maybe yeah. just because the theater seats were just not quite comfortable. Because this IMAX theater I go to doesn't have, like, the comfy recliner seats. It's still, like, theater seats. Right. Yeah. So. Sitting in those the, for three hours is rough. <laughs> the the yeah. DNA of this film it is kind of a slow detective, like figuring things out film. So like yeah. I can totally see that mm-hmm. that wearing on some people. And I I like I also enjoy long films, but even I at certain points was like, what time is it? Like how long have I been here? Right. Not necessarily in a in a bad like oh my god yeah. this is dragging yep. on, but in the sense where like I can I can sense that I do, they don't necessarily know where they're going yet plot wise so like what time is it you know like when are they gonna get this going not necessarily as like I'm I'm disliking this kind of like when is it gonna start ramping up kind of a thing I'm also and, a little bit fidgety so I was like my legs are getting cramped and tired <laughs> like please give me a little bit of, little bit of stretch my legs out <laughs> and I love the detective elements too like I'm with me and Batman specifically is pretty much Batman Begins and on and right. um. Uh, I, I really love the Nolan trilogy, but that was m- more action focused, obviously, than detective mm-hmm. elements in, in that. And then obviously, freaking Ben Affleck's like shooting people left and right. And that's like a <laughs> that's a whole nother discussion. Um, so I really love the detective elements of them, like figuring mm-hmm. out pieces of the puzzle. Um, right. I thought that was super cool. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, before I give my thoughts, uh, I have. Thoughts of one uh, Chris Rumblepack, who couldn't be here today. Rest in peace. Um, He simply says, dude, the Batman fucks. And then he said (laughs) a lot more. 
I was going to say, is that literally all he said? Because I would love no, that. That's what he opened with, and then we like <laughs> sent paragraphs back and forth. But he oh, said, this okay. is likely the greatest live-action Batman a- adaptation out there. Matt Reeves managed to not just focus on the aspect of Batman's character, like the majority of previous movies, but instead realized the full character. The shift of, Bat- uh, of Batman realizing he can't just be vengeance was incredible, um, which I do also love that transition from him focusing on vengeance to uh, hope. I think... Incredible. I think that I think some of the line deliveries were a little weak on those parts, but I did mm-hmm. like the the change. I did right. enjoy that. Uh, this feels like the Batman film to show he's the true superhero. The Zodiac Killer vibes of uh, for the Riddler were brilliant, and I really liked the idea of him leading a terrorist cell of online incels. Felt really believable compared to having a bunch of goons like in the Arkham games or something. Uh, there's so much going on uh, in this movie that it's hard to write it out briefly, but I fucking love this movie. Initially, I didn't want a sequel to this movie, but after seeing it, all I want is more Batman, Matt Reeves, noir films. Also, shout out Michael G. Kino's score. That shit. Yes. So yeah, good. it was. That's, That's another, reason. That's another mm-hmm. reason to stay through the credits because, ooh. That theme awesome. and, uh, during the credits is so good. Cool. Absolutely. I am and not someone I, who, sorry, I am not someone, <laughs> Discord, I am not someone who mm-hmm. downloads soundtracks. Like, I just right. don't do that. As soon as I yeah. left the theater, I was looking that shit up on Spotify. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. And I don't yeah. do that, so. Yeah, on, on my second viewing, I had noticed it, like, how often it plays, but I love oh, yeah. the fact that it changes, um, like throughout the movie mm-hmm. so like there'll be times where it's played on the horns and it's very triumphant but then there's times where like batman's walking into a scene yeah, and it's no. just like on the strings or the, or the piano which is like a very like intimidating almost like um michael myers like piano um theme and it's it's incredible uh as for what i think of this movie this movie fucks this movie this movie is incredible I, I've this has been my most excited mo- like I've been for a movie ever since the pandemic. I remember coming home from work one day like early 2020 and just seeing the initial reveal of here's what the Batmobile looks like and here's the the pistol in the as the chest plate and I've just been incredibly excited for this movie this entire time. I've been like on, on people's streams saying this is going to be the best movie ever made. It's going to be better than 80% of the Marvel movies like just Hyping it up, and I had insane expectations, and this movie absolutely lives up to it and delivers on all of it. I do think it is the best Batman movie, in my opinion. And it, like, like you know, just above The Dark Knight, but um, that's just me. I think it comes down to a personal preference, then. I also super love um, the detective elements, like we've been saying, and all that, and... Uh, as a bisexual, Zoe Kravitz and Robert Pattinson, this is this is a bisexual dream. However, no bat dick. So, going to have to go 5 out of 10. <laughs> Sorry. There, there were rumors right. There were rumors of the bat dick, and, and we did not get it. Uh, Michael Reeves, where's the cut? Where's the cut? Um, I'm, I'm just kidding, Matt of course. Just a- I was say, is it Michael? <laughs> it's Matt, Matt Reeves. Michael Giacchino. Oh, Matt Reeves. Michael G. Yeah, yeah. I, it's it's just one of those days. Um, in terms of the ru- or the runtime though, I I'm a slut for long long form movies, and I got out of this movie, and I was like, honestly, I could have gone for another hour. Like this, the, like there were rumors of the four hour cut, and I was like, give it to me, please. Give us the Reeves like, cut. Give us the Reeves cut. Break it up into two parts on HBO Max. The ultimate Reeves cut. Like I'd absolutely be for it. Uh, be here for it. But um, my friend did say leaving the theater. I hope this was Iron Man. Like, I hope this is the foundation to build off a great uh, superhero universe for. And I think that would be incredible. Um, as Like Austin mentioned, we already have two shows confirmed coming for HBO. I think one's Penguin focused and one's uh, GCPD focused. And then just give us, give us more, uh, give us the Batverse. Give us the side characters. Give us Batwoman. Like they mentioned Hood. Bloodhaven. Um, Bloodhaven, exactly. Uh, Nightwing, like, all of it. I I hope that this can be its own thing. We can have Batverse and then the DCEU alongside it. Yep. And we can just bounce back and forth. Um, but as for as for general discussion, I think I think I do want to start with uh, the Batman. What do you guys feel about this this portrayal of the Batman? Is this including Bruce Wayne or just Batman? Uh Let's let's go both. Let's go both. 
Okay. I loved any time Batman was on screen. I love the mm-hmm. intro to this. I thought, the intro might be one of my favorite things. I thought there was a few weird lines, but how they teased, mm-hmm. like, oh, crap, they're afraid of the shadows. Like, they went to, like, yeah. the person robbing the store and then him kind of looking over mm-hmm. his shoulder about something. Then they went to people, I think they were, like, graffitiing or something, and they also looked over into their, into, over their shoulder into some shadows. Then the third time that happens in the subway with those goons, he finally comes out of the shadows. And, and I'm like... Thud. Of the yeah. first year, like leading up to uh, it. He's not wearing cowboy boots, but he has the has the sound of it. Yeah. It sounds like he's wearing spurs. Yeah. And I yeah. immediately thought of Darth Vader when he was yeah. walking out of the darkness. Oh, and I'm like, yeah. dude, they're nailing this. And I, I didn't even care mm. at that point. I've I've been in this movie for like four right. minutes, maybe. I'm like, yep, you got mm. me. I'm in. Let's go. Yeah. Absolutely. I really love I, the, the intro of Batman. Uh, yeah, and I love that narration because that really sells the comic book feel to me. Like I could see like I, I thought about this afterwards and I could see like the panels of a comic book and you have like the yellow text above being the narration totally. from Bruce Wayne and then the like the actual text bubbles of the dude being like, Give me your give me the money, right? So like you could like it just it just felt like an absolute comic book movie. And then leading up to that uh, that first fight, absolutely incredible. The mm-hmm. action throughout this movie, awesome. I love that we're like moving um with him, uh like the camera is, or it's just literally shot from like a distance away and it's just locked on the action and you're just watching from uh like it feels like across the on the other adjacent subway platform you're just watching him fight seven dudes from a distance and yeah when he I that one head down and fucking just <laughs> bah! smashes that dude in the face i like i physically straight I, from I the like, arc oh games. my god sure absolutely yeah i personally felt like it was good combat for a batman movie no stay with me because i'm used to yeah. the <laughs> of the other yeah, Batman right. where they, they yeah. can't move their neck. So I was like, oh, mm-hmm. I like this. He can actually move. It seems more like functional in that way. But I, I do think the action was lacking a little bit. I really, really loved the car scene. I, I think yeah. that, that car scene yeah. was like my favorite part of the entire film action-wise. But I think mm-hmm. coming off films like MCU films where they just have these stellar pieces when it comes to combat scenes, comparing it to that maybe isn't fair. But coming from mm-hmm. that, which is what I know, to this, I do think the action scenes could have been different. But, I did, but it mm-hmm. did feel very Batman. So, yeah, take that for mm-hmm. what it yeah. is. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, definitely I, different. I was going to yeah, say, definitely yeah. a different kind of feel because this is a more, like Chris had mentioned in our uh, Discord channel, like, it's a noir film. Like, mm-hmm. they probably not, totally. aren't known for their bombastic, crazy action set pieces. This is more grounded. Right. So, mm-hmm. And going back yeah. to that, that intro scene where he says, like, I'm vengeance. And mm-hmm. I, I do think... Because I, I mentioned some lines were a little iffy for me. This one I actually really liked because mm-hmm. it wasn't like super gravelly, super dope, I'm vengeance or something like that along those lines. It was, th- and this might not be intentional, but I kind of love when it seems more realistic when they say right. these scenes, when they say these words. Mm-hmm. Um, that that sounded like a genuine human being who hasn't slept mm-hmm. <laughs> saying, I'm vengeance. You know what I mean? And yeah. then to have that 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 said in that way, and then you see the mm-hmm. payoff at the end from that line, I really enjoyed that. But that's yeah. just me, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in which I I love that whole that whole arc that we go on with Bruce, where cheesy he, but he, effective. He yeah, exactly. Where he is saying, um, you know, he's vengeance, and you know, Catwoman calls him vengeance, and I think mm-hmm. Penguin also calls him vengeance. Like that's that's what he's known as, mm-hmm. um, on the streets until he like one of these proud boy incels is like, I'm vengeance, and he he realizes like I I can't. He's like, yeah, yeah, that look. He's like, I he stole my line. It, it, it was like, it, that... no, it, it wasn't even that either. That's funny, <laughs> but it really was a good just slow look like at the dude like oh i fucked mm-hmm. up and i yeah. really i really love pattinson's body language as batman that is that is probably yes. gonna go understated that is really really impressive in my opinion mm-hmm. um and then transitioning into that um <clears throat> that theme of hope and like him helping the the people out in the, the flare end. that amazing yes. shot from the top i love those yes. scenes i can totally oh see those scenes God. falling flat i also really really liked batman in the sun I don't know why yeah. I really enjoyed yeah. that. It was just a different look at it because we've seen Batman in the daytime, like mm-hmm. in the uh, the Bale films. I think in the the Bane one, whatever. I don't know. I'm not great with those. Not rises. Um, yeah, and I feel like that the way that was shot was kind of too realistic. I know I'm kind of yeah. being like going mm-hmm. against myself on this, but <laughs> realistic for line delivery is different than yep. realistic on like right. cinematic. You're seeing it, um, yeah. but I think the way it's shot, the way the color is used, 
I love that mm-hmm. shot of Batman in the sunlight. I think it's great. Loved it. Uh, absolutely. Like, uh, you have the vibrant like blue and red um, and like black for the darker shots. And then you have like the the muddled browns and oranges. And then like whenever you see Gotham, it's always like sunrise and you still have that orange and, you know, that like blue slash grayish or like when they're at the the, um, the cemetery in the end, like it's it's cloudy right. out. And so they've made them look great uh, in the daytime. And shout out to Gotham in this movie oh, like gotham feels yeah. like its own character it's very stylized and i love that they're using the same technology from the mandalorian in terms of like the unreal five engine video walls like <laughs> th- this proves that we need to just get rid of like like take the blue sound stages that we filmed everything on before toss them in the garbage like we should we should be <laughs> we should only be filming on uh on these video walls now because th- that just That's really metal. helped yeah <laughs> yeah that like really helped just sell that they're in this world and like when he's looking over over gotham like you get a sense that um that is its own living breathing character yep that movie, which was absolutely incredible i stand by this is more of a gotham movie than a batman movie i stand by that yeah yeah in that. which i can i can totally see that especially with the focus on the gcpd and the mayor and the like and the uh, political lounge. figures the iceberg lounge the uh 44 below which is like the club in the club i re- i mm. really like that i don't i don't know why yeah. that got yeah that got to me but i was like fuck yeah there's a club in the club where all the all the just sleaziest of people hang out including the cops like come on absolutely i but think absolutely incredible i was gonna say i think one thing that really stood out for me about gotham was i think with the bail movies it was like primarily chicago yeah if i'm remembering correctly and then i think with this one they did different shot locations of like uh London. Like, yeah like they they like they did they pulled architecture and shots from like multiple locations so it kind of blended mm-hmm. into this like unique setting that uh you know just from my limited with the bail and the batfleck ones like this like mm-hmm. unique gotham this unique like city that like we haven't really seen before. You'd really like the 89 Batman then seeing that architecture. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With Tim yeah. Burton. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, like with the lounge thing, like everyone's <laughs> corrupt in there. Like what's going on with that? Like <laughs> everyone's in there. Like what the heck? Oh yeah. I mean, that, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> what <do you> think? <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> um, Because <laughs> it's like, or, and this kind of going along that, uh, Gordon, he's still a lieutenant in this movie. He's not commissioned yeah, yeah. yet. Um, mm-hmm. So it was kind of interesting that he doesn't have that, like, you know, in, like the Arkham games or like previous uh, Batman films that he has, doesn't have that like team around him to like help him to know like mm-hmm. that like, he's with the Batman and like know that he's like teaming up with him. It's literally just Gordon and Batman, which was mm-hmm. I yes. I love that. Which I, I say yeah to your credit over. to your credit earlier, you really like this rendition of it. And I think that's a big part of it is like where they start Gordon on and at. And their relationship in this movie, I think mm-hmm. that that's all the credit goes mm-hmm. to that, really. Yeah, and it, like his relationship with Batman, and the fact that like he straight up tells Batman, he's like, "You're the only one I can trust. Like, I can't trust anyone else in the in the GCPD." Like that talk they had when they, they yes. thought Corden was like giving him a stern talking to. <laughs> yes. I love that scene. You could have pulled that punch. I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Which people people are saying this movie isn't funny. Um, I, I went on the Thursday showing, uh, and then I kind of went with like more of the general audience last night on Saturday, and like people were laughing a little bit more, and that's definitely that got some more laughs uh, there. And when um, when they uh, go into Arkham Asylum, and he's like, "No guns," and he's like, "That's your hey, that's your thing, man." Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he just keeps the, keeps the gun out and just point it out. Like I fucking I love that mm-hmm. so I la- much. I laughed when they finally kind of leave Penguin. And then they drive away, both of them. And then Penguin's like, "Where are you, where are you going?" And he's waddling. And he's, he's like, "No, no." He's hey. waddling away like yeah. a penguin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I or the fact that, that they they drove in two separate cars, like, mm-hmm. them in the Batmobile. Come on. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. But is there is there a relationship quite there yet? I I feel that would be a pretty cool scene if we got that in the second movie. It's not True. like it's not like uh, in Batman Begins where. Um, where Batman's like, "Hey, Gordon, you can have full control of over my tank." 
and then Gordon just like goes in and like shoots the thing, and it, it like he just has no it's a idea. Dope scene. I love seeing it Gordon in there scene. though. Like, ah! it, yeah, that that is true. Um, <laughs> just I shout also out to the Batmobile in this. Movie. Oh, I love the like, Batmobile. Yeah, I love it so much. God, it's basically like, hey, let's just put a rocket on the back of a car. <laughs> and then when he oh, hits yeah. the NOS, I was like, oh shit, <laughs> let's yeah. go. Basically, and, if, if you like the trailer, you'll like this movie. Because that's yeah, basically the, the trailer was just the vibe of the movie. And mm-hmm. usually I'm someone who's like, I hate when trailers give too much away. Mm-hmm. Credit to this movie is as I'm watching this movie, I completely forgot what was in the trailer. Because the moments would come up and I'm like, oh shit, yeah, that's right. And yeah. then we're right into it. And yeah, here we are. Yeah, exactly. Um, and like speaking speaking to that, I feel like he uses everything in his arsenal like incredibly well uh whether it be the be the flare like we were talking about earlier or when he's just being pinned down by by gunmen and he like revs the engine as a distraction that was just nipples hard like <laughs> oh my god absolute hype moment did um, i bat on his suit is something too like i thought yeah, that was like, cool. a, yeah, like knife. <laughs> it's a uh it's a whole ass batarang and uh That's I, I think he can attach them together or he can just use them singular and like slice them like he does uh the tape or that um that wire in the end which is incredible mm-hmm. i like that he has two uh two grapple hooks and they're each yeah. in his wrist and shoot at, like shoots out when he when he shows up to take down the riddler dudes and he like pops two of them boom nails them in the legs and like goes back and like strings them up it was oh my god God, dude, it was it was incredible. cool to see the build up to that scene because before then we never we haven't seen Batman like go off, you know what I mean? Yeah. We hadn't seen right. him just start taking out fools. And this was the first mm-hmm. time we saw that, and I I did enjoy the scene. I, I truly did. I just felt as a whole this the movie kind of lacked like enough action to be comparable to MCU films. That's not exactly a fair comparison. Right. I'm just saying mm-hmm. coming from that, yeah. But that scene yeah. was dope. I I feel like uh, the action is a little. Um... Like it's it's sparingly used uh, throughout the film, um, but it's there's enough of it. But I think that's because they are mainly going for the Zodiac killer vibes. And like that, my whole Thursday showing, I was just on the edge of my seat, like just like super anxious, not knowing where what's gonna happen, who's gonna get hit next. Um, like, so how do we feel about weird. the Riddler's puzzles? I like them. I do I like love them. them. <laughs> and a- anyone, and I've seen some of this criticism online, anyone who's like, they're basic ass riddles, dog, you couldn't solve them. I, I, sure. Come on. Come on. I'm not um, saying, dude, I know. did get the first one. No cap. I got the first one. I said, mm-hmm. lie still in the theater. And someone was like, oh? And looked at me like, what? <laughs> I got that one. And I was like, fuck Tim yeah, Allen, let's go. Tim Allen was next to you. <laughs> Pretty much, dude. I'm not even exaggerating. Yeah, they gave, really cool. they didn't do, they didn't make a noise. But if that look made a noise, it was that. <laughs> okay? That's what that would be. Yeah, absolutely. Every other riddle after that, not a That's goddamn great. chance. But going from like penguin to something else, maybe it was something to penguin to falcone. I didn't like that at all. The falcons have wings. Like that was stupid or whatever. I didn't like that. That was dumb. Maybe it wasn't the riddle themselves, but more so how they got there was a little weird yes. for me. But but yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. I go ahead, Brett. Oh, I yeah, I was like on the edge of my seat the whole time when I was in the movie, and like going from step to step, I was like buying in. But like, I mean, looking at it now, like it, I don't know how to accurately accurately describe it, but it it does fall a little privy to I don't know what trope it is, but like there's this impossible clue, and then they solve it just by <laughs> like them by shocking it. Yeah, which because like I'm Batman, <laughs> which like it, it was acted well and like it made sense in the movie, but it was one of those things where like they didn't get it, and then they're like, oh yeah, the Falcon, he has wings too. It's like, well, yeah, he's the mob boss that like is still hanging around. Right. Of course, like he's gonna play a role. Like, um, but I, I mean, that didn't really like detract from it at all. I just was sure. like thinking about like when you have a movie set on this like riddle, like thing then yeah it's gonna it's it's just it's harder to pull off which i think they largely did but it's just harder to pull off 
Totally. Right. I thought I just thought it was going to go from the first clue would li- lie still, and then eventually got to them that that rat ladder or whatever that was. Yeah. That was going to lead them to the penguin, and I thought penguin's mm-hmm. going to lead them to a different clue. Not that they got the penguin clue wrong, and that it was actually Falcone. Mm-hmm. That that just seems a weird, a, a bit weird to me. And in that moment, I was taken out of it. I was like, what? Right. Like, <laughs> like, huh? Because yeah. for me, me not knowing anything, like when they were like talking about Maroni, like, do we even see that guy at all? Uh no we don't it's just uh he was like that he was the head guy before yes yeah okay. and it's mentioned that like his drug bust was the biggest drug bust in right uh, in history and that like he he was essentially uh kind of like uh on par with Falcone in the command of like corrupt individuals yep. taking from right the yeah. fund. and then Falcone took him out to have a uh, the biggest cut right. um. But yeah, no, Austin, I I definitely agree with you. Like, I I like the riddles themselves, um, and especially like the when the Riddler's saying them with the voice modulator, it's incredible. But the actual like getting there, like when Batman's like, "You, you are L," like that's that's what I have, like, yeah. And then and then he pops he pops out the uh the Bat computer that I had like that was a a little cheesy, but I I still kind of dig it because oh. like you know like the noir films. They got some cheese too. It is one of those things too, I, where like it is a noir film in current day kind of a yeah. thing, and like the internet is a thing. So like, yeah. yes, yeah. It was it was one of those things too. Like, and I know it's a movie. All these movies do. This. I'm sure ninety five percent of the Marvel movies do this just to compare. But like, when like eight public officials die, it's like, hey, the rest of you guys, lock your doors. <laughs> don't right, yeah. don't be going to like these underground clubs and parking garages where it's dim where the dude's gonna be waiting for you in your car like come yeah. on and you know you're corrupt if you're especially if you're a corrupt yeah. bitch, like i publicize where the funeral is i, <laughs> so can, I totally I yeah i get that but at the same time like that dude's like doing uh drugs in the in the thing and he's like i just gotta get the edge off and i'm like okay i can like realistically buy that that I have like, a house party out. bro have yeah, <laughs> you're, you're probably super rich. You probably got a nice, you know, penthouse flat in you know downtown Gotham, man. Like, come on, you now. can't be doing drops in front of your kids, man. Come on, hire a also, babysitter, like- bro. Have them have them go out to <laughs> it's a house uh, party. Chuck E. Yeah. Cheese. Um. Also, uh, an- another one of the corny things, like when they do the decipher and they're like drive. First of all, my dumb brain was it's about drive, it's about power. You know, like <laughs> even during the Batman, that, that's-, that's where your mind went. Yes, yes, when wow. Drive comes up on the screen, I, like, giggled at myself because I was like, it's about Drive, it's about Power. Um, and then when uh, Batman, like, specifically, he's like, Thumb, Drive. You know, I was like, okay. Another, I, another I, corny I one, chuckled but... at that. I chuckled yeah. at yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that was a little <laughs> chuckle. And then when he's like, oh, how do we do the thumbprint? And he's like, man, this dude's a jokester because he, like, holds <laughs> up the, like, decapitated thumb eye. That was another yeah, line delivery that. that I didn't love. I do love Gordon saying it. I, like, I think the right person said mm-hmm. it. I just, I don't love the line delivery, but I'm a sucker for that kind right. of stuff. So. Um, in terms of the Riddler himself, though, I think this is the best DC villain put to screen. Um, wow. And I, I Wait, know that's Riddler? Be... Riddler? Hold on. Yes. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. You're, you do Joker. know Heath Ledger plays I was gonna say, Joker as I, one of the I, most like, I, iconic I, performances of all time, let alone I, comic book. And yeah, I do get that. And of course, like, like there, he's on par. He's on par with Heath Ledger. What? I just like, I like the motivation um, of the Riddler because, like, to me, a good villain has shares a lot of the similarity as the hero and i love the fact that a good antithesis they, like a good antithesis 110 percent. and so like the fact that both him and batman are mentally ill uh vigilante orphans mm-hmm. incredible and giving him that backstory and like they're essentially the same dude with the same goals because they they again both mentally ill uh vigilante orphans that want to see uh crime out of gotham and clean it but because of their upbringings, that's what differentiates their paths, where Batman's taking the more like, I'm going to beat the piss out of people and lock them up, versus Riddler's like, hey, I grew I grew up in a shit house where three-year-old babies are dying, and I started doing drugs at 12, uh, and my only escape was puzzles. I'm going to start killing people and murdering government officials. And the fact that he's like, he sees himself 
like as a part a partner to batman i thought was incredible and he's like dude we like why aren't we teaming up like you're the brains i'm like i'm the brawn like like or no i'm the brain you're the <laughs> you're the yeah. you're the muscles like uh i thought that was incredible and one batman's like no dude i'm i'm nothing like you you're you're a killer you're you're sick uh and he's like so this isn't how it's supposed to go and between the two of them when he's behind bars shout out to that great scene. It, it, absolutely absolutely i have comments on on all of this first off okay. was it extremely believable and well done written wise yes it was very believable mm-hmm. and I, I don't think they could have pulled that off easily in another film so good jobs for that for like believing right. that riddler would pull this off believing that the riddler would think he is teaming up with the batman i thought that was really cool mm-hmm. but if you're putting paul dano's performance up with heath ledger's okay you understand how i'm doing this here's paul dano there is Heath Ledger, okay? I don't think that, like, I want that I mean, on the tape that Josh is wrong about, he's right about everything I, I just, said that he's wrong on. But, but like, the Joker's motivations in The Dark Knight, he's doing it just because he's crazy. Like, other than okay, that, there's, yeah. like, no... But, but you could argue yeah, that's a good knows. antithesis to the order of what Batman represents. That is true. I mean, yeah, I just... That's what makes it so I mean, en- engaging, is, like, he literally has no rhyme or reason for what he's doing, but he's doing it anyways. Fair enough. Uh, but also, Paul Dano's performance in here is absolutely oh, yeah. incredible. I love how intimidating he is behind the mask with the uh, with, with the off, uh, voice mod and with it off. And then even when he <laughs> has to go full influencer, hey guys, thanks, thanks for your tip. But he's like, the apology video. About this. Dude, the TikToks Dude. were like popping off. Like I've been loving the TikToks of like. Or he, on one hand, he's like, you know, getting on his soapbox and speaking platitudes. And then next he's like, hey, thanks for hitting 500 followers or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. that was funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do, I do want to say that with, okay, during that last scene, he says the name Bruce Wayne twice in his little yeah, delivery did he there. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. And I think the first one was him realizing that, ah, oh, shit, we didn't get Bruce Wayne. And the second time is him realizing, holy shit, you're Bruce Wayne. And he didn't want to give it away. That is my theory, okay? I want it on the tape. He knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman, and he found it out in that moment. I, I thought he found it out beforehand, especially with, like, with the way his, uh, his apartment's set up and like the fact that he has Bruce's, like pictures highlighted and it, mm-hmm. it says i saw that too but i you. i think that's a co- i think that's a coincidence and, and i think maybe at one point he kind of thought right. eh, maybe bruce wayne is batman but i think he got too caught up in this master plan that that kind of got pushed mm-hmm. to the wayside and i think he said this he said that line the way it was delivered to me is the way mm-hmm. a psychopath would kind of come to terms mid-sentence to something right. and it, that that's how he delivered it too and I, I i loved it i think he knows that that is bruce wayne and he kept it close to his chest for whatever he needs it for on the inside um, um another question yes and i know it's not, it's not even like a like like i know thomas wayne like that was where his beef was primarily but then mm-hmm. like why like why does he hate bruce like bruce just hangs out in his mansion all the time. he like, hates he hates bruce because they had the exact same beginning of being orphans yeah and then and- bruce Got all everything, all the money, all the whatever fame, whatever, and he got shit. But like, I mean, in terms of like all of the other people he was going after were corrupt officials, and Bruce was just rich. Because, well, I, it was because of Thomas Wayne's involvement with the renewal pro- program, and it was the saying, sins fall on the son, sins whatever, fall on the son. sins yeah. of the yeah. father. Yeah, yep. yeah, and I, then, I, I get that. It's just like that. That's literally it. Like, my, it. yeah, my mind doesn't connect. Like. And your well, dad did think, something horrible. I hate you too. Like, I it, it, and I, the, the I crux of it goes, is Thomas Wayne is his is his target, yeah. but he can't yes. do that. I, so I wish, he literally fathomed in his head, yeah. this is how I'm doing that. I wish they would have made Thomas Wayne more like evil. Yeah, because like, they still might. again, yeah, maybe I don't know, but like from my understanding of they the Batman stuff, games, from like, yes. yeah, from my understanding of just the Nolan movies and the bat flick movies. Like he, they were setting up like, Oh, like he hired this dude to do all this stuff. And then it's like, Nope, it was secret. Like I was like, Oh, you're letting him out. Like, I think still, that would be super cool, but I'm again, still not maybe... convinced 
he's a good guy. I'm still because I can totally see Alfred just being like, no, like your father was a good man. And end well, of story. Like, I don't want you to know the whole truth. Like the way the, that maybe. dialogue back and forth between them went in a way to where it wasn't exactly set in stone that he's a great man. Mm-hmm. He, he was going to turn him in, blah, 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 whatever. Right. He still hired the he still hired a, a very select <laughs> human being to do a thing. Mm-hmm. And he's like, what? Mm-hmm. You did the thing that you would always do every other time. How dare you? <laughs> Like, yeah, that, right. I don't know. There's, there's, there's something there. To me, like the interpretation was that, like, because Thomas, like, had, did, like, did the had the dude killed, uh, and like fucked up. He ended up getting murked, and because of that, like, uh, the he he's not mayor, and he all his promises now fall flat, and because of that. The Riddler and his or like that orphanage falls through the cracks. Mm-hmm. Like he's like the the focus shifts to like instead of us getting the help, it's oh poor Bruce Wayne needs the help even yep. though he's sitting on money and Bruce isn't doing anything with the money. And I like and that I think is why he's after Bruce because like is, this though. interpretation <laughs> he is doing this things inter- with that money. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He just I he he doesn't know and like this yep. I like this interpretation of Bruce because in in the past like he's like talking to morgan freeman and he's like oh we should fund this project and we should do this renewable energy source which gets turned into a nuke uh versus here he's like alfred and dorothy or whatever y'all manage the business i'm just gonna be a nocturnal animal and just go beat the piss out of villains <laughs> right, at night just... and like spend all the money you see on, like, bruce like once in this movie souped up yeah, yeah and i can totally i can totally see us by the third movie getting that bruce you just described like i can exactly. see him building to that moment but a hundred and ten percent, which I uh, this is why I think this is a great foundation to have. Like, oh yeah, like not only are we getting an arc in this movie, but now we're gonna get an arc throughout a trilogy. And God, DC, please make this a saga. Like, like, like uh, our friend of the show, Craig, uh, Craig Fox, tweeted like, uh, if this was the first episode of a ten part series, give me all ten episodes right now. I just need to inject this in yeah. my veins. And I was like, yep, I feel that. Um, I feel that 110%. I also, I really do love that this is like year two Batman and he's journaling everything. Like yeah. he, he he comes back to the Batcave and his like inner dialogue is being journaled. I love the uh, contact lenses, lenses, which just oh, helps super cool. sell the fact um, that he's that a really neat. I enjoyed that. He's, he's like uh, reviewing the footage and the fact that he puts them on uh, Selena after the fact and how they're used throughout the film, uh, I really enjoyed um fuck there's a, something else i was gonna say I can, oh also the bike the drift like the bike drifter thing too the fact that he's just like this biker and totally mm-hmm. just wearing like makeup and biking around and carries a backpack always has the batman equipment on i him thought yeah i thought it was a little do we ever see that in any, any other film like a lot of bruce wayne in like a different get up going to do something and then changing I, into the suit in that manner like have we ever because no. we see that several times <laughs> i like that i know some I people do too. were like naming on it oh, yeah. but i thought it was like mm-hmm. super cool in, ter- in terms of what you said of being year two like he's he's not like fully there realistic. yet he's it not fully realistic. there yet as like the batman and so he's still wearing right. his hoodie and hanging on the roof and you know using the binoculars to like People yeah like going on. like eventually like down the line he'd have like these code activated pods that just have suits that Liter- come up from the ground and then wow well, I, like I have the, no idea literally like the opening of arkham city though where he's like yeah the bat uh, alfred alfred i need a suit drop and he like s- suit drops um also nope. the two year <laughs> the the second year stuff comes through in a lot of the action too like he's getting the shit kicked out of him to the point where like he has to resort to like tasering dudes which i absolutely loved he's like Guys are grabbing him by the cape, which I think that was a, a throwback to um, Batman versus Superman because he gets the Incredibles. Down by oh, the, by the <laughs> cape there too. Um, also, like when he's escaping from the cops and he like gets up to the roof and he like has that like oh shit moment. Like I've never oh, jumped off. It's a, a legit wingsuit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And the fact that it's an actual squirrel suit, and when he's going yeah. down, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be so cool. Like we have a confident Batman <laughs> that's like that's done this for a long time and he's going to like just make it through uh through the bus and the and the train. No, he totally eats shit and I Guys. fucking love it. I fucking love it cuz mm-hmm. it just shows how like it just reinforces like how inexperienced 
Uh, he is also when he comes through the window into the Riddler's apartment, and instead of like landing pretty badass, he just does this insane roll and sure. it gets up all like goofy. Like I, I felt like it just really, really sold the fact that this is my, uh, Bruce Wayne still new to the game. My my second favorite, because my favorite part is the wing, the wingsuit at all. Like I thought that was yeah. incredible. I love A that scene. Suit. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the second favorite part is when he lands like brutally. Right, he gets up and you mm-hmm. just see him like. Oh fuck! Like he's I, like, yeah. oh, oh no, I need morphine. <laughs> he's I like, was... nope. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I know we were talking about this before we started recording, but like during that mm-hmm. last fight, I thought that was Venom from like Bane. I didn't think I, that was adrenaline. <laughs> I am assuming it's something of the ilk, thought but we... it's not that. I thought I don't think it's just asked... adrenaline. But go, go ahead. I thought we discussed it was Joker's farts. <laughs> Could you discussed not. that for the record. That was, yeah. You said that, that we chuckled and moved on you. immediately. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes. And then we started recording, and uh, now here we are. And now we're here. But Joker's, I, Joker's I, parts. I think if like adrenaline is here, right? Like just a shot of adrenaline, and this is like Bane or yeah, Bane's whatever, what Venom. the Venom stuff. It, this is where that thing is. Like it, it's a it's a third thing. It's in between adrenaline Bane. and that, and this thing, <laughs> wherever wherever his source of this, that will lead into what becomes Bane's Venom stuff mm-hmm. or whatever. A hundred percent. And which I, I think that, um, like I totally had that thought too, uh, especially like when they pull him off of him and he's like still like a little manic and like ready to just punch him. Um, was that before or after the I'm vengeance line by the goon? Uh, that's before. And then he takes, uh, he takes the mask off and he, like you see him absolutely beat to a pulp. Yeah. And he's like, who are you supposed to be? And he's like, I'm vengeance. And that's when you see that guy out. earlier too. I realized you see that guy's face in a, another scene. I don't remember when it is, but it's the same maybe dude at the funeral. Uh, maybe at the funeral maybe. or there's also people's like uh, holding up Riddler signs outside the, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I could see that being Titan, and I do think that's a fun little world building thing. If uh, further down the line we got an uh, interpretation of Bane in this world that mm-hmm. just isn't totally in love with Talia Al Ghul, uh, and like is more true to comic books, and like t- mm-hmm. takes the that and uses it to create a Titan formula. Cool. Um, I can see us not. Only- not- not getting the cat in the second video or the second movie too. And then the third movie, she comes back for some reason. And it's this huge, like regrouping of like other people, like, you know, they come together for yeah. one thing. I think it'd be, it'd be dope. Yeah, absolutely. Which I do love, uh, them, them working together. And, uh, also that bat reveal the that the bat and the cat, um, that reveal that Falcone is her father. I thought that was a very inter- yeah. like interesting mm-hmm. interpretation on it. Uh, especially Isn't that always she... the case? Am I am I wrong no. on this? I could have swore Falcone is her dad in a lot of iterations. Not that I've known of. Maybe I'm Not, dumb. <laughs> maybe maybe in some comics, but in terms of like main. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. In game. comics. Oh, okay. comics wise. Uh, it could be in comics, but in terms of like mainline, like the Arkham games or Telltale's or like previous movies, that that's never been the case, and so that's why I think they might have gone with it here. Uh, and I think that like adds a pretty cool wrench in term like into their relationship in terms of like she's like I want him dead, like he killed my girlfriend and he's my dad and like. He wasn't there for me when my mom died. Fuck him! I'm gonna kill him in Batman's like. Also, Selenium. what's what's the place. the dude who plays Falcone? What's his name? Um, John I can't Turturro. remember. Yes, John Turturro. Yes. I only know him from uh, Transformers. I know, me too. But I know he's in yep. a bunch of other stuff, and he always is kind of yeah, like yeah. A, he's always in, in, in this movie. He is as well, but he's he's a support character. But I was like. Yes, like he got like a major dark role and he mm-hmm. killed it. And I loved it. I don't know. It, it was like a silent thing he's so, in he's my so, heart where I was like. <laughs> he's such a mob boss. Like, yeah. I was, I, I'm it. like, yeah. Uh, yeah. That pool scene was I cool. Was, yeah. There. yeah. Yep. He's shooting yeah. pool. And I like how vague he is with Bruce. He's like, he's like, I'm, I'm not saying Marone <laughs> killed your father. I'm just saying that's the, that's the way it looks. Also, when he's like, uh, your father helped me, and I remember you looking down on me from, from the top of the staircase, you know, <laughs> not someone you forget. I was like, fuck yeah, like, I, I love... <laughs> I um, wanted more of that stuff with Bruce in the movie. Like, yep, yeah. I agree. Like, we like didn't I, have I, enough Bruce. Blanket statement, not enough Bruce yeah. in this movie. It's contextual, because, like, 
uh, what Austin said earlier with like where this could go in terms of what we see from Bruce, like it was very one note, but it's also very early in the, like the Batman tenure of Bruce. And so, and they, they kind of harped on it of like, is like the Batman, his actual real persona versus Bruce. And, and so then obviously that's like a huge part of like that character. Um, I just like, yeah, I would, I wish we could have seen more dynamic, like, totally. um, stuff with Bruce as opposed to Brad, just being like, everything you're saying play the telltale games <laughs> I played like half of season one but also yeah. everything you're saying I feel like they totally attempted to do that with Alfred and it just did not work for me yeah what all. do we think yeah. of what Alfred? hold on we like, can totally go into that I just want to say one thing because I, I talked about line yeah. deliveries the, the worst line delivery in this movie is happens way early on. And it's just Bruce mm-hmm. Wayne being like, you're not my dad, Alfred. <laughs> or something. That, I was like, what? Yeah. The, what, what? Where did that come that, from? What? That yeah. felt off to me on both viewings. And uh, like, especially the second time around, because I'm like, this is your second year doing this. Uh, and we're 15 minutes into the movie. This does not feel like so weird earned at all. Like, and it, I saw it where they like, attempted to go with it. And it still felt weird. Yeah, I I feel like there might be some more uh, stuff between them on the cutting on the cutting room floor. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Um, in terms of uh, what I thought about Alfred, I do like this interpretation of Alfred. Um, I do like that he. It's still early enough to where he's still in on on the Batman stuff with Bruce, because like a lot of times we get Alfred like ready to ready to walk. Uh, and yep. he's like, I dog, I can't, I can't take it. Like, he's like, helping you the come tech. home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like, cause oftentimes he's like, you know, I can't, I can't stand to like sit here every night and wonder if you're dead or, and then see you come back like all scarred and bru- um, bruised up. Like if you don't stop this crusade, I'm going to leave. Um, but like now, because it's still so early, he's fully in it. And even though they butt heads sometimes and he's like, well, the uh, the accountants are coming here because you won't go over there. Um, I really uh, enjoyed that, and like they butt heads, but then he watches the footage and he sees a lot of uh, Bruce in that in the mayor's son, and he's like, "Fuck!" Like I get why Bruce is doing this, uh, and that's like kind of what helps him, uh, like pushes him towards helping him with the decipher. Um, and yeah, I I liked all of it. I liked where they attempted to go with it. I just mm-hmm. don't think they nailed it. Yes. Also, oh. the the teasing that he's he's dead. Like I thought that was incredible, but oh, I was but, like, but you're first. That... You're in the first movie. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. One. <laughs> also. One. Okay. Go ahead, Brett. It, go ahead. Oh, like like with the like with all the corrupt officials, op- like going in dark parking garages. I'm like. I'm like, Alfred, bro, you're opening up the mail and you see them this package with like blood written <laughs> letters. Like Batman. Well, don't don't open it, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? Bruce's eyes bro, are he's, on the he's, only, he's only near two as well. <laughs> like this isn't yeah. the Alfred we know. He's not seasoned in this Batman stuff yet. But I do really, really think it would be ballsy as fuck if they would have killed him. Also, Yeah, the, I think so too. The fa- the best thing to come out of the Alfred um Bruce relationship is that scene of him in the car. I really enjoyed this because it showed him breaking his his normal stoic character of him just being the Batman, yeah. where he's in the car and he is flying and he's freaking out inside. He's like he he showed he's yeah he's like let's fucking go like I need I need to go let's go and he yeah. couldn't get there in time for what he thought was going to be like the death of Alfred. Like I, I enjoy that scene. I think that that establishing that scene as him realizing oh fuck he's my dad like mm-hmm. that that's what that scene was and it, and it worked right. that scene worked yep. for me. A hundred percent. And then, like, when they're in the, the hospital room together, I love that, like, it, it starts out with, like, Bruce totally, like, you lied to me. And, you know, um, so Alfred, Alfred being like, well, you know, you think your dad's a Boy Scout, but your dad made a mistake. Like, um, he he didn't know, like, the extent that Falcone was uh, going to go with him and have, mm-hmm. have him killed. And... I've always wondered, like, whether your parents' death was Falcone or just someone looking to get their fix and you know earn earn a buck uh, and stuff like that. And once he once he like confesses that up to Bruce, I love that Bruce's armor's like completely down emotionally, mm-hmm. and he he's straight up like, I 
I thought I conquered fear. I thought I made it my weapon, but the thing I fear most is like losing somebody. Feeling um, like I, I did then again. Yes, was, was, yes. Was, feel- uh, something along the lines of what he said. Yeah, like feeling like how I felt when I lost my parents and losing someone. And I think that kind of helps play into the into the transitioning from hope too, because uh, him like realizing that that's what he's afraid of is losing people and like trying to make up for the past, like helps mm. him escape the vigilante to go forward and um, be more hope hopeful. But totally, yeah, I, I, I just I, think the what that scene established is like him realizing, oh, Falcone didn't do it. And, like, you are my dad. And we have this relationship, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Alfred wakes up from a coma. And the first thing he says to him is, like, you lied to me. <laughs> or something along those lines. <laughs> and if, I, if I am Alfred in this moment, I'm saying, oh, take kid. Like, yeah. no. It's like, I just woke up, my dude. <laughs> Give oh, me yeah. some time. Yeah. Can, I, can I get an apple juice? I got to take a piss. Like, like something. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> But other than that, all of it was incredible. Yeah, um, can't wait to see it any... again. Yeah, I do have absolutely. I do have a few last second things. I oh, think. Yeah. yeah. Any uh, any last closing thoughts? Let's any any things you just want to shoot out. Let's do it. I'll do rapid fire with with I'll do rapid fire with a few. Sorry, Brett. Um, I, from what I understand, the only letter that hasn't been like deciphered is the letter J for the Joker. And I think that's very clear where they're going with the next movie. And I don't know if I want that. But, like, if you, I think if you look at all the letters used and everything and, like, the, the website stuff, literally the only letter that's never used once is the letter J. It's J. And I think that's intentional. Um, right. In this movie, I think Riddler won. I think he, I think he, is, he accomplished everything he wanted. When, yeah. those, when those explosions 100%. happened on the walls, I was like, this is a dope scene. I love the scene of him in the flare. I think that, that worked for me. The sunlight led to the sunlight scene. I enjoyed all that. But, yeah, I think the Riddler got exactly what he wanted. Except for the Batman part, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like he like, still won at the end of the day. Yeah, other than that, he took out all the officials and like brought forward change in, in Gotham, a hundred percent. Totally. And then the last thing, and it might just be a me thing. Did he, <laughs> when the first time we see the car, right? Dope scene. Yeah. The first time we see it, he starts revving the engine. Was the car there already? Did he drive? Did it? Did they establish that he drove the car there? Like the, I'm, the way I'm, I'm watching thinking, this movie, I'm thinking it's it, like he just pilot. appeared. It's okay. like a remote pilot. They never established he, that. Like it's like a, it's like a Tesla. He, <laughs> My um, mistake. <laughs> when they're when they're realizing they have to go after uh, after Penguin, mm-hmm. uh, both him and um, both him and Crabbe. Gordon uh, uh, Gordon park outside the club, and so he you can see him watching Penguin leave the club from the Batmobile, and then they both drive after him. It's just mm-hmm. Gordon parks out front, uh, Batman parks out back where the car okay. currently is, and then goes on the roof and starts watching the operation. And that's <clears> when he sees Selena. And like, I did look at my phone a few time. times. That might have been one of the times where I did that to check the time. But I, for me, the way that happened is like he's on the roof, blah blah blah. Then he does the thing. He then he revs up his car. I'm like, when the fuck did the car get there? I'm like, this is the dopest scene ever. But like, mm-hmm. did you just Houdini? Like, I don't. Well, how'd you get there? Yeah, yeah no. It, it, I I kind of thought the same thing. Uh, well, the first time I was I was just too in awe from how fucking badass that was to ever think about that. The second time I did notice like when they're when he's watching Penguin outside the club. Like I did notice he's in the car, and so he would have taken the car there. Cool. Um, That's it. Uh, one question I have, and you actually just said it, and I didn't even think about it that way, with the Riddler of how he won by already taking out those officials. Mm-hmm. Like, but I, I'm still a little lost with the end game when uh, he, when he chose to get captured and then flooded the city for what? Uh, the renewal to me, project. He just wanted my, to basically get rid of. Yeah, because that. Falcone. Yeah. Falcone is no no longer like taking in the money for the renewal project and having the control over the GCPD or whatever. Right. Right. And what what does the yeah. flooding do then? To, uh, that, that, that that helps fuel that I think because it it got all those people to that one location and I think them mm-hmm. being at that one location somehow helped reveal those things parts of those things. Right. Um, as well as way, like it's also just chaos. Uh, a hundred percent chaos and like like washing the streets of like like literally washing them washing clean. this washing them clean of uh of crime and forming like some sort of bigger change because like flooding a city that big is going to come with uh with like 
re, like restructural change yep. is rebuilding and now yeah all yeah. those things that were in right. place before right. can no longer be couldn't that you way. argue if he's if falcone's out of the way and they have all this money now to actually do good that they're, you're starting from a better position if you don't destroy the entire city than if you you know what i mean, I mean like the only I, thing I, at least I, the only thing it leaves is a power struggle and they they and they bring that yeah. up whereas like the batman and when catwoman leaves she's like there's gonna be a power struggle now and bat he's kind of like i'm ready for it is that kind uh, of yeah mm-hmm. yeah i i get that um like okay first like, of all i think he i think he lets well, himself get captured so he can watch the flooding from a safe place yep i think uh, like that's a hundred percent his intentions and then like the power grab thing like you see penguin not be able to move because he he's like stuck in the He's stuck in the forty, like forty four prosthetics, <laughs> like yeah. Also that too, but he's like looking out the window, and he's he's definitely like Gotham. Gotham's like could be mine for the taking, but it's also yeah. underwater, and so I can't do anything right now. Yep, you know, which I think that I hope that's where the penguin shows uh, leads off from. It's it was like, mostly to start like, change, and now yeah. Gotham has changed, and it, from mm-hmm. from his lens, it is for the better. Right. now it can uh, only get better now from this point which isn't true yeah yeah and then uh like i i totally get all that uh, the the one thing in the end game that didn't make sense to me and like i've been trying to work it out is like okay well if this candidate is already like proposing change and now she's running unopposed and like has basically won why are you sending her your men to kill her yeah like, that's that, it yeah like that you're killing that's the one part you're killing these corrupt politicians and then you're like having a firing squad shoot innocent people and and then yeah and on like on my second viewing um i interpreted more as like like because they're in the comments of that last video like what gauge like they're trying to figure out what caliber and you see them bring like multiple like sniper rounds to fire i think maybe they sent out a non-lethal shot just to like send a message and then they're gonna start shooting like cops in there i think i'm not hundred percent sure. It appeared but... to me that because you see how he was kind of like planning this all to happen, it appeared to me that he also thought she wasn't going to bring the change that he he saw fit. So he also was going to yeah. take her out because it still didn't fit his plan. And if that, that if that does one. anything, yep, right. I can I see, could that. see that. I could see that being the case. But yeah, that was like that was my one my one thing. But she didn't die anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Um, she took a freaking bullet, bah, and she's back. Yeah, yeah, if anything, if anything, that makes her more of a badass mayor, and she's gonna do even more for the, the city same. because she literally like she's she's taking a I bullet, a for, bullet the city. for Gotham. She, she took a bullet for like, Gotham. They're like, you don't care about us, and she's like, bitch, I took a bullet. I took a, <laughs> what do you want from me? Them. What are these white men gonna do? Well, they're <laughs> nothing, nothing, you know. And uh, I hope, I hope she's the star of uh, of one of the Gotham shows. Like, I would absolutely love to yeah. watch her, like buttheads with uh, with Gordon and other officials to just try to make more sure Gordon is all I need. Right change, one hundred percent. Like I said, yeah. he was my standout character. Like he, mm-hmm. amazing. I think my Shout standout was Wright. was was Kravitz. Mm-hmm. I Zoe Kravitz. I she think did, absolutely yeah. destroyed that role. I loved her as that. I think I gotta go Pattinson or just Pattinson. because, like, what he brought to the character, emoting through the suit. Uh, the the casting is through. fucking so, amazing. Again, this might be the best incredible. casting I've ever seen in like a single film. Absolutely, uh, Alec. Any any clo- closing thoughts? Um, just I just want to say this score. Just again, huh. we can't be praised enough. It is amazing. 100%. Like every time that theme kicks in, ooh, goosebumps. Just. Yeah. And then that that car chase scene. I know we didn't talk about that too much, but oh, mm. so great. I do want to say I, quickly too, Brett. You brought up like, w- did he win? Blah blah blah. Like, he's he a won. villain. He won he's a villain. The, so like he won by killing the officials. I just was like, why did he destroy the city if he sure, yeah. cares about it so? Much? I agree. I agree. I just think he, for the most part, succeeded in what he set out to do. But also, he's a villain. Like them winning isn't necessarily winning half the time because they're delusional in some way shape or form so like i feel like the fact that you're like did he win i feel like that you're kind of meant to see meant to see it that way you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. um yeah this is the, this is an incredible movie if i had to toss a number on it i think i'd go a, a nine five um it definitely like in my top three superhero movies of all time i think uh, flat nine now that I'm, amazing now, yeah yeah it's That's up where there I'm at too, too. Like, 
upper echelon. Like, and I, I I've thought about it like since the days coming. And uh, of course, there's the whole recency bias thing. But goddamn, this is just a good film. Like, like it is yeah. long, but it's Incredible. worth it. It is long, and like, yes. yeah, I could have gone the fourth hour. I could go for more of this. I don't know if I could have gone the fourth hour. Inject, That's long as shit. Inject everything into my body when it comes to uh, when it comes to this universe. I'm I'm so excited for more. I and um yeah that's that's honestly about it i do have to say just for jose ruckus uh because he told me to toss in this joke the movie it, he's called the batman because he throws the baseball bat at that dude's nose and breaks his nose and, and we that, that, <laughs> literally literally jose dm'd me that and he's like is it called batman because the because he hits the dude in the face with the bat and i was like yes that is great. Ten out of ten. Joke. Tweet it right now. And he's like, I don't. I but I don't want to spoil it. I'm like, dude, it's a it's an action scene. Plus, it's in the trailer. Like you see him using the bat. Like if someone said sand. spoilers, he hits him with a bat. I'd be like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Literally. Well, yeah. I just had to do that for Jose. My my closing thoughts. I keep remembering things. The, it, mm-hmm. During the car scene, when Penguin's upside down, one I thought it was weird how Penguin was just fine. <laughs> he was just yeah. kind of like there. All the prosthetics they protected him. But mm-hmm. you see Batman upside down like a bat, and I was like, ah, okay, ah! Yeah. and his feet yeah. are like on the ceiling, of, the ceiling of like the top of the frame. And I was like, eh. some people did say that that went on a little too long, and Love I thought it. so too. I thought so too Thursday night, and then when I saw it last night. I, I was like, you know what? It's actually not as long as like people like say it is. Like it, it's not as it's not as like egregious I see. I see. Uh, as people say. Mm-hmm. Also, I can't believe we we made it this far without talking about the hints of the Joker. Right now, we kind of we kind of. I wanted it. Yeah. I w- Can I just say like I'm so disappointed that they're doing it again so fast already. Like I felt like <laughs> do someone else. Like I know I, like, he's like the I, villain, but do someone else. Like you face I. I, Mr. Freeze. Again, again, I'm comparing this to <laughs> to, to Marvel, but like, I mean, they're not the comparable. But I guess like, like Joker's like one of the most iconic villains of all time. Like he's yes. like Thanos. Like he's almost like a Thanos in in terms of mm-hmm. importance. Like you can't like drop Thanos in like Iron Man two. Like. Or or even I mean Iron Man one like you can't just drop him like immediately because like it's gonna be like I don't think anyone can match what Heath Ledger did. It's either gonna be that where it it crescendos there and then you get like I mean I thought Tom Hardy did good as Bane but obviously less awesome as Heath Ledger, or you get right. freaking Jared Leto doing stupid shit with, with whatever he did in those movies like <laughs> they're, they're like. Uh, like i just and especially if, as not being a dc hardcore fan like i want to see more villains than the joker i've seen the joker like eight times i agree already. like i agree i, I mean like, they could they could just be teasing him it doesn't mean he's gonna be like the next villain the next main villain you, you think they're gonna tease him in this one and then wait eight years yes. until the third movie i think you it's know? possible I, that they tease him here and he has he, he's not you, he doesn't even appear in the next film but the the name drop the name drop of Joker and he he is planning something he's doing something mm-hmm. throughout the second film and then the third the film is allies the with Joker yeah yeah but, yeah, yeah the difference the difference with that and again, again I'm comparing it to Thanos is like Thanos is this galactic figure who's like slowly building up his pieces throughout like the Infinity mm-hmm. Saga whereas Joker is like just in his cell <laughs> like what like what's he gonna do build here's the up? thing though he is not yeah. just in his cell guaranteed that dude is masterminding things with people in gotham right now he could probably that leave right Joker's now if he wanted thing. to yeah <laughs> he's there because he yeah. wants to be uh, yeah. and that's definitely like like alec I'm, I'm right there with you like i think they're they're more just doing it like to say that he's he's in the universe and batman's already fought him and he's behind bars but that's because he's that's like where he wants to be and i don't think they're immediately going to throw that card down right away and like second movie do it. I think it's third movie. I hope. I really do. I, I think so too. And I think um, also, I know we've seen it a mil- like done a million times, but I, if there's anyone I trust to do it, it would be Matt Reeves, oh, yeah. especially given, especially with what he just did with this film. Um, but and I think it'd be, yeah. and the, and the planet of the apes and all that. Like if there's anyone that's going to knock it out, like, 
with Joker, it's going to be Matt Reeves. And then I'd, I'm also like really interested to see what this uh, interpretation of Batman has to do with the Joker. But I think it'd be, I think for this to really stand out, my personal hopes would be second movie introduces Barbara Gordon and we have Batgirl uh, out on the scene fighting crime. And then the third movie, we totally get Killing Joke where he shoots her, Ooh. paralyzes her. She's Oracle and he also kills Alfred. And so he, and so now Oracle like is it. the Alfred yeah. in the third movie. I like it. And that would be like my ultimate like dreams and hopes is like have him more of a Batgirl. Who's the villain in villain. two then? Uh, does for Bat, the villain, does Batgirl start two? off as a villain. No, uh, no, no, no. She just finds out uh, through like working with uh, her. I guess dad Penguin. I guess Penguin first. could be the villain of two. I think where that series I, goes. I, yeah, I don't I, think, I think he's main villain material. I agree. I, I'm just I agree. Throwing stuff out. I totally think he's a supplementary. Like, what could do Bane? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get the, I, I'd the say Bane, thing. or with the with the Thomas Elliot connection that he's the reporter that is in the movie. Like have Thomas Elliot hush totally. Oh be yeah. The, uh, All right. Be the villain, which they you also didn't do. even talk about that. Say, like how they do say hush. Uh, like totally do. in the Riddler's video, you know, they say like hush. Uh, which, was it? Yeah. Was it always the case where Martha was an Arkham? Is that a thing? Uh, no, yeah, I, didn't, no. I didn't know that either. That was cool. But that was a, that was a fun twist. That was a fun twist that she comes from mm. the Arkham family. But it's also one of those things where friend. I wasn't really allowed to think about it because the movie just for that reveal just goes yeah. like, like yeah. that scene just boom 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 and I 100%. saw it and I was like, what? Yeah. I don't even know if I saw that. Like I could have just yeah. seen anything. I don't freaking <laughs> also, know. Also, <laughs> again, it's like because um, like. Marvel does this too with like the raft, especially in the Spider-Man game where it's like right next to New York City. It's like Arkham is right next to Gotham. Well, that's like that's always been that way. I know. Yeah. I, I I just love like how they're like, let's put all the dangerous criminals right next to <laughs> yeah. all the people. Well, it is yeah. a weird well, location. Yeah, because Blackgate <laughs> is always like on like in the actual city limits, like for like yeah. the low level mm-hmm. plugs, and then if you're insane, they have Arkham Island, which like mm-hmm. they take you all the way out there, but. Yeah, I, I guess know, they do that. I guess they've done that in real life too. So, uh, yes, well, literally with Alcatraz, like yeah. being right off, right off the bay of uh, of San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great um, film, but yeah, great film. Go see it. And not nine five out of ten. Go see it. Go see it again. Go support this. Uh, I know Robert Pattinson said he'd do porn if this doesn't do well. That doesn't seem like it's the case. Big opening uh, weekend. That's true. So, Yes, I, he jokingly in an interview was like, "If this movie flops, I will do porn." Uh, he really, he he just really wants to see bad dick, all right? I that's, really that's, want to see bad dick. Give us bad dick. <laughs> they have the yeah, social like chemistry. I'm like, just do it already. What porn? Yes. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, um, it's looking like uh, two fifty international or like worldwide. Excuse dang. me. Nice, which nice. is pretty good. Great great weekend you love to see it uh but that will do it for us here on shared screens uh if you like the video like the video if you haven't already subscribed uh comment down below let us know what you thought of uh of the batman and we will see you back um maybe later this month for the halo tv show uh that trailer played in imax before my second viewing last night and i was like damn i can't wow. believe that's out that's uh, this in month. 18 days in 18 Halo, days. Moon Knight is coming out. Halo, as well. Moon Knight, more more projects on the horizon. So subscribe yes, yes. to keep it locked. You will be here. Uh other than keep that. Keep it locked to IGN. <laughs> that's what, that's immediately what popped in my head. Oh, hundred and ten percent. I am glad yeah. you got my reference. Um but yeah, no, we love you. Thank you for watching. And like subscribe. Bro. Bye.